Hey guys, just showing you my Kismet setup. We've got the Pinadio over there, but over in this box here, I put my little Kismet setup up. And what I have here is the RTL SDR Blog version 3. It's a great SDR for anyone who's interested in getting into software defined radio. Great deal on this one on RTL SDR.com. And we have the Alpha wireless card. This is the directional antenna I talked about. So essentially, I can wave it whatever direction. And on Kismet, as my previous video showed, you can actually follow the actual signal strength in order to get a good idea of what direction it is. And it'll continue getting stronger as you get closer to it as you point this and wave it towards the right direction. So you can find out which direction something is, another wireless device, and you can also find the location of that device. What we have here is the Pine 64 A64 LTS board, great board. I was able to hook all of this up to the board and I used some OTG USB cords. So because you can't overlap these in the USBs because they're close together, you just need a simple cable. Plus, it helps to have that extended cable allowing me to move around with this directional antenna. And as I mentioned before, if you want a monitor mode and packet injection capable card, you're going to want to go with an alpha wireless card. It's an excellent wireless card. Here's my dipole antenna for this. And what I have for the Kismet access is I actually have two different ways to access it. I set up an access point so I can do this without any internet. I can do this fully mobile in a bag or however I want. And, you know, my previous blog post showed how to actually remotely administrate it from any phone. The first video showed how to actually run Kismet off the Pine phone to actually use the Pine phone as the sniffer itself. So that was the first video. Now I decided to move to the single board computer as a more permanent solution for me. And I also have a onion set up. So I have a tour hidden access point. So that what that allows is full encryption on the actual access. So my login and all my metadata and all the access points, all the wireless devices that I am viewing and looking at are not able to be picked up over the open air or by anyone on my local area network or other larger network. So that's key, having that encryption, the TLS encryption, so you can protect it. And that's one great thing about Onions is they make it very easy for you to set up that encrypted end-to-end -end between the two machines and you can have full security and privacy for both the server and the client therein as well as several hops. So great option here. I'll do some tutorials on the access point and also the onion hidden service Kismet if interest is there. Three here. So if you want to go fully mobile, you have the Wi-Fi access point. You don't need the internet that way. For the onion, of course, you'll need the internet in order to connect to the Tor network and onionize everything. So you'll have multiple ways to access everything. So if you want to be fully mobile, you know, transport a working Kismet setup, you can set up an onion that way and have it fully secure and mobile, no internet needed to keep an eye on interesting things. In fact, I found that uh, my the Simply Safe alarms and different interesting, you know, SDR devices come up on, you know, 433 megahertz and you can see all kinds of different things with all of Kismet's various setups. Pretty interesting stuff. Um, a lot of different things I didn't even know were out there. And also, of course, it's fun to use ADSB to watch the different flights and other devices. So you can see all kinds of different devices. There's various things. You can check your water meter and see if you're being cheated out of your bill. In fact, a guy actually did that with a Python script with his SDR. He was able to find that his own the company was actually ripping him off. So this is my Kismet setup using the awesome Pine64 A64 LTS board. Amazing board. Only uses this whole setup only uses maybe 150 uh, megabytes of RAM at a time. And this board has two gigabytes. So uh, plenty of room to spare. 
And of course, I'm talking the Onion, the Wi-Fi access point, Kismat, all the sniffers, all of the different interfaces as well, simultaneously uh, sniffing. So it's pretty great setup, uh, and I wanted to share that with you guys. I got my Pine phone there. It is actually on the Onion address. I put a little tape over the Onion address, so uh, I didn't want to share that with the world. But fully secure that way to log in and administrate Kismet. Then you also have the Wi-Fi access point access, which is shown here on the computer. So that's what I got today, guys. Hope you liked the video. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe. And if you want to see how to onionize Kismet, let me know in the comments. If you have any comments, questions, uh, I'm welcome. I'd love to hear those, and I'd be happy to answer any questions. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll be back later with more on Kismet.